Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this is John Matus with Training Center Manager Software. I'm going to walk you through a couple of procedures in this uh, particular segment of video. I'd like you to walk. I'd like to walk you through the uh, process of adding a new course. So this is the main menu of Training Center Manager. I'm going to click here on the Add New Course button, and that will open up a uh, course detail screen. Now, um, in this particular screen, you can choose the client and the client is going to be the receiving group of the training. Um, if it's a corporate client or a group that you're running a course for, you would select them off the screen here. Uh, if it's perhaps an open to the public course at a local hospital, you can certainly choose uh, the name of the fear facility here. So I'm going to choose XYZ Medical Center. I'm thus going to see the sites associated with XYZ Medical Center. Um, again, this would be the two various conference rooms at the facility. If this was a corporate client, you might see like a uh, Los Angeles office or a New York office, depending on what's going on. I'm going to select a course type. Uh, in this case, let's call it a, I don't know, basic first aid course. You can preload your courses. Um, well, the, cor the training center manager comes with a few courses already preloaded, but you can certainly load your own uh, ahead of schedule if you like to define them a little differently. Uh, let's put the course uh, date in here. Now let's put a course start time. You'll notice when you enter the time and date, it opens up the session scheduler. This will be applicable if you are running the course in multiple sessions. So let's say it's a three hour course. You're going to do two hours one day, you're going to do one hour the other. You would be able to enter that here. Um, it's actually kind of important to do this just because it prints on the confirmations, etc. So know what's going on. Uh, one more thing about that screen. Um, instructors required is here. So if you think you're going to have lots of people, maybe you're expecting a um, pretty packed course, you can edit as you go along and place the instructors required there. Um, expected students has actually two uses. Um, we can use it for a group course if uh, you're estimating. So if the corporate client tell you they're going to have 10 people at the class, you could enter then there. Um, if you, this is an open to the public course and you really don't know how many people are going to sign up, what you can do is you can enter your room availability there. And uh, if you happen to have the web services companion module to this, um, the internet will open up up to this many seats, so in this case 35 seats online. Um, price per student, uh, we're going to mark that for whatever the cost of the class is. Let's say hypothetically $35. Uh, this will also display on the internet if you have the web services option. Uh, mannequins is the number of mannequins that you used in the course. This would be filled out usually after. Course sort code, uh, this gives you the ability to sort courses online into various categories. So uh, you can keep your, in this case, the way we have it set up, all your CPR and AED first aid stuff. Uh, you can keep all your sort of professional level EMT type courses, your ACLS and PALS, and your instructor programs together. So identifying some sort of codes is a good idea. If you want the course to display online, you would check open to the public, and uh, web services, if you have that module, will display it for you. Scheduler is just the person in your office who scheduled the course, so it's mostly just about uh, providing a reference. So if you come back one day to your office after vacation, you see this job in there you don't identify, you know that uh, in this case Joe Instructor booked it because you see J.I. listed there. You can put various miscellaneous notes about the course here. Just keep in mind these display on the confirmations you send the client, so you don't want to put anything that might be a little incriminating there. Um, you know client's kind of wacky wouldn't be a good thing because they would probably see it on the confirmation. Um, so that's of course details tab. This instructors tab here allows you to assign people to teach the course. So let's say you had John Matus teach the class. You would highlight John Matus. You would see all of his credentials listed here in the yellow area. That way you don't assign somebody who's already expired. And if you use the arrow here you can move John Matus into the assigned category. And let's say uh, Felonius backed him up. He's another instructor. Uh, who does a lot of work for you, so we're going to move him over too. Now you have two instructors, and you need to mark one of them as the lead, and that person is going to print on the back of the relevant certificates. So um, he's listed, or she is listed, as the instructor of note for the session. So let's say uh, Felonius is the senior guy on this one. We're going to uh, make lead by hitting here, and that goes up to yes. Okay. Um, if you're using TC Suite, you may see a promote button here. Uh, and that does the exact same thing. Okay. If you hit students, you'll be able to enter your students. So I'm going to enter uh, a person here. Let's make him studious student. 
is at 123 Main Street. A town. Uh huh. Jersey also. Uh, la, la, la. Okay. Uh, he is a student at yahoo.com. There's his phone number. Alright. Date of birth, not terribly necessary, but if you need to identify it. Uh, some people like to use this database uh, as a differentiator at this item in the database, so that'll be fine. Driver's license, more of an issue for defense driving courses, probably not for other courses. Um, license number is for transcript manager. If you guys are maintaining uh, continuing education credits based on some kind of license number uh, by entering this, you'll be able to um, send the student information based on that. So let's say this fellow called. I entered all his information into TCM. Um, I can hit next new student. He will then pop up down here and I'm ready to enter the next person. Okay. So here you see um, uh, studious student with his typo uh, listed right here. Uh -huh. Not my more accurate typing guy. Alright, a couple of just quick operations I can show you from here. Um, you can coordinate the class uh, from this tab. This basically allows you to send people various letters. So here is the client. Let's say this was a corporate client and you need to exchange with Ronald Jones. Um, you can confirm the class to him by letter or by email. So just to give you an example, confirm by email. Uh, confirm by letter, let's start with. This sets up a printable letter that you can send to your client. You see it here. This information, by the way, would be filled out from the config area, so it's not right now because this config area is blank, but you would ordinarily see it there. Um, here is all the relevant course information with a full schedule. If you've assigned a lead instructor, he'll be listed here. And uh, here are your miscellaneous notes. So once again, you know you don't want to put anything wacky there because the client will see it and be very embarrassing. Um, you can very quickly just send this out by email like so. This is actually one of the cooler parts of TCM. It sets it all up for you. So here we are, and if you just hit send, uh, your confirmation is off and running in one click. So it's a pretty convenient way of doing that. If you'd rather just have a mailing label for the client, that's okay too. Uh, Avery 5160 is our default mailing label, so if you want a label, you can just put it there and print them to something and ship it to them in paper. Um, you can also confirm instructors from here, and this will be our last operation in the demo. If you choose an instructor like so, you can print an instructor confirmation and say, hey, listen, Felonius, uh, you're set to teach that course on the 11th. Uh, here's all the info that you need. These are special notes printed from the uh, site information. They have an LCD, they have a computer. Uh, here's some more information from the uh, site. And uh, you can email Thelonious in the same way. So here's the same letter set up as an email and it goes right off to Thelonious uh, without any trouble. Just a quick one click option. Um, if you want to send Thelonious a quick idea of who's going to be in the course, you can print an enrollment list. And uh, here's the letter that can go out to Thelonious with the people uh, registered to take the course. So here's studious students, the only one guy in the class. Um, but if you had 10 students, all 10 of them would be listed there, which is helpful. Uh, you can likewise email the enrollment to the client, to the instructor or to the client. So if uh, somebody wants to say, hey, listen, we set up that course with you, how many people signed up uh, on their own for it, you could just email them an enrollment here at this area of TCM. So uh, I hope that's been helpful for you. This quick uh, nine minute demo model gives you a quick idea of the basic operations. Um, I will do a separate one with more stuff that you can do here on the student screen because this takes quite a bit of time to explain. Um, so uh, I'm going to close out of that. I hope that's been helpful to you. Remember that you can see more Training Center stuff at trainingcentermanager.com.